morning guys. Starting Monday's vlog in a little bit of a different location. I am at James's house and I never normally bring my vlog camera here because I never normally vlog when I'm here. But I thought I would start the vlog today and bring you with us to the camping shop. So we're actually heading over to Decathlon this morning because we are heading on a camping trip in a few weeks time with some friends and I literally cannot wait. However, we don't have much kit. So my mum and my stepdad are like avid campers and they have everything but a tent because they gave the tent to one of my sisters. So I'm having to go and get a tent, which is fine because me and James have agreed. It's something that's like a long-term investment. If we've got it, we'll use it loads. And to be honest, I used to go a lot as a kid and the only reason I haven't gone in the last few years is because I don't own a tent because I've never had anywhere to put one. So I just thought, let's get one, we can make use of it, and I've already talked to my friends and stuff about potentially doing like the odd weekend trip in the summer, me and James are thinking about doing some more trips and stuff, so it will get its use, basically. So, we found the one that we really like, and we've decided we're going to go to Decathlon to try and find the tent that we want, buy it in store, or like see it up, or just see if there's any other options that we think are better, or just good options because I have honestly been that person like I, I think this is the actual definition of adulting is going through the internet and looking at reviews of tents and whether they leak or whether they get drafts <laughs> I'm officially an adult but that's our morning I've obviously just thrown on some clothes I'm wearing James's hoodie I've got some leggings and I've got just trainers that are going on my feet and we're gonna get going and find a tent and maybe some tenty campingy things because as much as we can use mums for this time, we do kind of need to build up our own stash. So we're going to try and see what's there and if there's anything we need, like lanterns or anything. So bring you along camping shopping with us. But that's something you never thought you'd see in one of my vlogs. It's just took us forever to find a parking space because the car park's shut. So just found one. We're walking up to Decathlon now. Oh, Cafe Nero's opposite. Should we go get a coffee? I think you need one. James, <laughs> James just dropped his iPhone. And his iPhone? His Apple Watch and it's smashed. So we need to get that fixed. But... um I think you need a coffee after that. So let's go look at some tenties. Exciting times. Why am I so excited about tents? It's like it's a car. Well, that's handy because this is the one we were looking at. <laughs> All around the top of the shelf, there is little mini versions of the tents to show you what they look like. <laughs> this is hilarious. But they do have the tent that we want, which is great. So this is the one that we want to get. But they do also have this one, which is one that we looked at. This one is just slightly smaller, so it means we need to buy a new airbed and stuff. We're thinking maybe get the bigger one, even though the bigger one's a bit more expensive. It's like £100 more. But um, we were just thinking like, do we spend £100 more and keep the airbed or spend £100 less and then have to buy an airbed? But James can stand up in it and he's six foot six, so I think that says enough. You can actually buy inflatable everything now. This is an inflatable cool bag for your food. Isothermal, keeps food fresh without ice packs, blah, blah. And it looks like that when it's done. How mental is that? It's literally inflatable. And then they've got down here, these are little like cups that you attach your gas to the bottom of and it heats it up and it keeps it hot for like, I can't remember what the hours are, but it keeps it hot for ages. It's really cool. Basically, I'm just like an ultimate camping novice and I don't actually know all this stuff because I've only ever been with my parents and I'm just really intrigued by everything. But mostly, just loving the mini tents. <laughs> They're so cute and so tiny. We got the baby home. This is one of our camping chairs, which are from Tesco's. These were two for twelve pounds. So we just got two like standard camping chairs, and then obviously the tent. And then we did also get a cool box, which was twelve pounds from Tesco's, because the ones in the camping shop were actually thirty pounds. And we thought rather save a bit of money, get a like normal cool box, and then what we can do is every day just like put ice in and put drinks and stuff. And then I think I'm not one hundred percent sure, but I think my mum or my friend may already have an electric one so what we're going to do is keep like the general supplies in there like the sausages and that kind of thing and then put the um like wine and drinks and like the stuff that doesn't really need to be kept that cold like constantly we can keep in a normal cool box also means we can use the cool box to transport food down as well so like put in like milk and whatever because obviously i drink almond milk and like coffee and that kind of thing so exciting but we're gonna have a bit of avo toast now because i'm really peckish and we haven't eaten yet so gonna get a bit of that and then I'm driving back home and I've got a day, well, an evening, afternoon, afternoon. I've got an afternoon of editing. So I'm gonna try and get a couple of vlogs edited and get some Instagram stuff scheduled in. Maybe in the bath, this is me, it is Monday. I tend to have bath every single Monday by accident, not even intentional. So we'll see. But yeah, I've got an afternoon at home by myself, which I'm quite looking forward to because I haven't actually spent a night on my own since Thursday, I think it might have been. Was it Thursday? No, I haven't spent a night alone since last Tuesday. Wow, <laughs> definitely needed. <laughs> brunch is served. What time even is it? It's half one. It's not even brunch time, but we haven't eaten. So I've got avo toast with some 
what's this called nando sauce so i got this i'll actually show the brand later on remind me if i don't but this is really good gluten-free bread and then james has got egg avo and his normal toast yum oh my goodness you guys i'm driving home and i don't even think you can understand how loud it is in my car right now i it's so loud i just put up services so that's why you're on the camera so i can quickly start it when i was in the service and come back on but it's so like it's just absolutely it's just a storm outside we have thunder and lightning there's like full on hailstones it's just madness right now outside the car and i'm driving along not really able to see very much but plodding along and just seeing what happens because this is just I look really small with the camera like this, but oh my goodness, it's just so bad. So I'm going to get back to my podcast and turn the camera off and just focus on driving. So I'll see you in about 20 minutes. Hello. It is now half seven and I realise I haven't updated you in a few hours because I've been sat on the sofa editing, I went and got a parcel from downstairs, I've had dinner, I've had a FaceTime with a friend. There's a lot of little bits and pieces that I've been doing. But as I've just opened the parcel, which is from Mint Velvet, I thought I would share with you what I've got because there's a few really great pieces in here and I just wanted to share it with you because I thought you might really like to see it and I work with them on a monthly basis at the moment. So sometimes it's quite nice for me to share with you everything that comes, not just as like a reel or an Instagram story or post because I know that a lot of you maybe don't watch my Instagram or you don't know I have Instagram, which if you don't, I'll leave it on the screen here. But I just like to kind of share things on different things so that you don't miss anything. And just as a disclaimer, this is all gifted. However, anything I say apart from one post and one reel a month, which are marked ad, everything else is completely off my own back, which is why it just gets marked as PR gift, which means they've sent me the products, but I'm not being told or paid to talk about any of this. So it's literally just me sharing it off my own back in the hope that you guys like it, because whenever I share mint velvet, you do seem to enjoy it. So I'm just gonna share it with you. First up, we've got this little linen shirt, and I think it looks really cute thrown over some like neutrals and stuff. So I got this one. It's just a blue classic shirt. I have this in a small, and it is £69. Then I've also got these jeans, which are in eight regular. So these are like a lemon yellow coloured jean, which I thought was a really nice way to add a bit of colour. Obviously, I have just added a bright blue shirt. This is me kind of branching out of my comfort zone and getting some colours involved. But I thought this was quite a good way of kind of sticking to the neutral, like creamy and like light tones, but adding that tiny bit of colour. So I got these. They're very soft. They've got this cute little paper bag style waist with obviously the belt loops. So you could belt it if you wanted to. And these ones were £79. Then I have these jeans, which they threw in as like a, we hope you like these, but we're not sure. And these are very rogue for me. Not something I typically go for, but I'm going to try them on and see what I think. They are just bright pink jeans that are a wide leg crop. These were 79 again. So I think kind of with jeans, it's typically around that price. Then I've got two shackets, which are exactly the same. One is in blue and one is in white. So this is the first one. It's just a little denim jacket with the buttons here, which are like, they're like a creamy gray black kind of button, like a bit of a tortoiseshell vibe. This is again, a size eight and at 109 pounds, just an absolute basic, really essential piece. You just can't beat like an oversized denim jacket shirt, like just jackets in general, because you could wear this with leggings and a hoodie underneath and it'd be really good for like a little bit of a colder day. But you could also wear it with like a little cami underneath or something and some jeans. And then this is the blue one, which is ever so slightly different, but I swear it's the same. So this one's got like more denim style buttons, but I think it is exactly the same. Like it looks exactly the same but it's just obviously blue denim. Then we have two little bandeau tops, which are exactly the same, but one is sage green, perfectly matches my wool, <laughs> basically blending in. And then we have a little white one as well. Um, and then the last three, the last, no, I have four, five, six more things, hang on. Okay, then we've got this striped little shoulder pad top, which again came in a few different colors and styles, 39 pounds and I believe a small. And then we've got this one, which is again in a small, and this one is, 79 pounds oh no this is an eight sorry and it's just a cute little sheared top with broidery sleeves and then it's got a little tie detail on the back which is so adorable and it's just like a cute little summer vibe which would be really nice tucked into like wide leg jeans or like some kind of like palazzo trouser or something it's really really cute and it's got the broidery sleeves with a little frill then i've got some cream jeans here which are a mum fit jean and these are an eight regular 79 pounds again and oh no they're boyfriend fit sorry my bad they're a boyfriend not mum fit but they're just cream and again really soft and a really nice fit these ones are a bit more straight leg because 
I've got I've got quite a few pairs of jeans. If you've seen my favourite denim video, you'll know I've got a lot of denim. If not, I'll leave it linked down below for you to check out and in the cards. Okay, next three is accessories. And I've got one pair of shoes and two jewellery bits. So the shoes look a little bit like this. They're just like a crossover, little simple, minimal style heel. And then last but not least, I have the two accessories. Can you see that? Is that focused? It's just a little gold open chain. It's quite cool because it's like not, it's like a wonky chain, which I liked. And it's got two little pearls on it. And then I got the matching earrings, which look a little bit like this. Can you see those? So they're just like little pearl ones, again, with the kind of like wonky distressed ancient looking gold and as you can see they've got like the stud back so it's not like a full hoop but really really cute and they match the bracelet too which is really nice but that's what i got from mint velvet this month they do typically send me over a few little bits every month just for me to do reels and stuff with but as you guys know i wear them quite a lot and i never really share them in haul videos but i might start doing it because i do get quite a lot and i really like it like every single thing i've had from them has been really good quality obviously i don't pay for them personally but i know that i would spend the money on them because i do think they're genuinely really high quality and if you are like me which i'm guessing you are because you're watching these videos but if you like a really kind of timeless capsule style wardrobe with pieces that are really high quality and will last you year upon year they're definitely the best place to go and i'm so glad that i'm collaborating with them because i'd never ever ever thought to look in there before but as soon as they asked to work with me i honestly couldn't stop browsing the website because there's so much i like and that doesn't happen very often like there's very few brands where i can go on the website and like nearly everything um, especially when it comes to like timeless pieces and stuff so highly recommend and I think you should check them out but I'll leave all the links and stuff to everything I just showed down below I'm gonna get back on the sofa now because I'm still editing try and get a couple more done and then maybe head in the bath and read my book for a little bit or just carry on sitting on the sofa and edit some Instagrams or something I don't really know <laughs> would you believe me if I said it's 20 past nine and I've already been to the gym had a shower, put new tan on, done my hair, done my makeup. Like I've done a lot of things and I've been up since half six and it's only half nine. I'm so impressed with myself. I woke up at half six and I just powered through and decided today will be the day that I make a positive change in my like routine because working from home is one of those things which most of you probably know from having now done it for the pandemic, but it's so hard to get into a routine <clears throat> especially if you are like not working office hours or anything because I know it's kind of different if you are getting up and you have to log on by nine and then you have a lunch break and whatever but it's so hard when you completely work for yourself in the way that I do and basically every day I just decide what I want to do and that's what I do with my day or like deadlines and stuff so I find it quite a hard thing to navigate sometimes especially when I slip out of my routine like Obviously the last few weeks of lockdown lifting, I've kind of fell off the routine a bit. So I'm making the conscious effort to try and get back into it and try and be a morning gym person, which I've always been like a two in the afternoon kind of gal, but I think going in the morning is a lot better because then it's already out of the way. I don't have to think about it again. And it's not like a dark cloud looming over my head of like, you've got all these things you're doing, but you do still need to go to the gym. And then it gets to 6 p.m. and I'm like, Ugh, well now the gym's really busy and I don't really want to go. But I'm really glad I went. And now I've got a full day of like shooting and filming at home, which is always one of my favorite things to do. So I set myself up in the office. I put my iMac on as a TV, which to be honest, it's basically is only use currently. I haven't been using it as a computer for a while because I need to update it and stuff. So that's actually a task that I want to get done today because I want to be able to sit and work in there again because I do miss sitting and working on like an actual computer and I find it a lot quicker than my laptop. And also like editing videos on your laptop I find sometimes can be quite a challenge in that the more I do it, the less space there is and then it ends up running slower. So I'm gonna try and sort that out after I've done all my filming a bit. But I'm in a really positive mood and I cannot wait to just get filming and get doing and just be productive and get on with things, basically. That didn't sound good. What was that? Oh, I think it was my jade roller. My friend told me to put my jade roller in the fridge and I've started doing it and oh my God, it's so nice and cold. Oh, it feels like heaven. Every morning it's just like the nicest thing ever to roll it and it helps to like put your serum in and stuff. Anyway, let's get into the office, shall we? The extent of how busy last week was, I still have my two bags from shooting packed in the corner and they're not even like packed, they're kind of just thrown in, like nothing is organised. So I need to sort those out. I've also got like random orders everywhere, like there's just, there's a lot of stuff everywhere. A lot of stuff everywhere. First things first, I think I need to decide what video I want to do first. 
and get all the bits and pieces out so I can start doing it. I actually love doing I, one of my favorite things in the world is filming videos and like doing reels and like taking outfit pictures and stuff it's just I, I love it I find it so much fun especially when it's like I don't know especially when it's indoor ones I just I really enjoy it but I think indoors a lot easier because like I'm a creature of like comfort and habit so now I've got my really like nice little setup I know that I can take pictures in that spot and I know that I'm gonna like the background so I just have to take a few and like the way I look in them and obviously the lighting has to be good but other than that, they tend to be quite good. And then obviously outside and out and about is a bit difficult because then you have to like find locations and stuff. But <sighs> I like it. It's my favourite part of the job is like taking pictures and creating content. I find video a little bit more of a challenge because I'm not the most like... When it comes to videos, I struggle to... How do I explain this? So like I'll have a really good vision, but I struggle to like execute the vision. And like my editing's not that great, which is why they're kind of just thrown together. I try my hardest and I really like doing like room makeovers and all the like really fun like big videos, not just the sit down ones. Sit down ones are probably my least favourite to do, but sometimes they're just a bit easier for like different types of content. So that's why I changed up the ways to style actually and did them as mirror videos because I personally really like that style. And I hadn't seen anyone do it before, so I thought I would give it a try. And now I know quite a few other people do it too, so that's a good thing trend setter trend starter <laughs> obviously i'm so not trend starter there's probably people out on the internet that do actually do it i've just never personally seen anyone anyway i should probably start tidying this room and sort my outfits out hello hello quick question yes what's the email you use for disney plus because i'm about to log in on the computer but i can't remember your email address <laughs> I am midway through doing stuff, but how cute is this little dress from ASOS? It's such a cute little style. It's just like a little broidery number with the square neck and the puff sleeves. Super cute, I'll leave it linked. And then there's also this one, which also has a tie at the back, but I've not done it up. But it's just a really cute little floral number. How adorable is this? I said I wanted some cute summer dresses and ASOS have not disappointed. They've got so many gorgeous styles at the moment and I am loving this. I do think it maybe needs to be slightly shorter, but only like ever so slightly, like the tiniest, maybe like that much. I don't know. I just like short dresses because I'm a short person and I think anything to make my legs look longer makes me look less stumpy, basically. But it's really cute. I really like this. It's got cute little flowers all over it. Dee -dee 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 -dee. I'll leave these linked. I've kind of just plopped myself on the back of the sofa to have a quick chat because it's been about four hours since I updated you and I've done three reels in a YouTube video. One was several dresses and took me a really long time to do because I was like trying loads of stuff on and I did that thing where I get really distracted by Instagram and I end up browsing at the same time but at least it's done and I am ready to get a few more filmed. You can definitely tell the point of the day that I'm at in reels by how my hair looks. So like if I've filmed so many in a day, my hair by the last one just looks all dishevelled. It just makes me laugh because when I edit, I'm like, well, you can tell that's the last one of the day because you look like a blooming mess. So I'm just going to brush it out a little bit and carry on. And I think after I've done this one, I'm going to take myself for a little walk because despite going to the gym this morning, I'm in a bit of a funk and I think I just need to take myself out of my house and go for a little walk around and try and like resolve the situation and just be outside and just in a different space, you know? I could take my book and go and sit in my local coffee shop with a coffee because you can sit inside now, can't you? And there's a coffee shop around the corner that's quite cute. So I might do that. I might take my book and just sit and have a little coffee for an hour. That would be quite a cute idea, wouldn't it? Maybe I do that. That's quite a nice idea. I'm gonna do that. Right, let me get on with this video. I need to stop procrastinating. It's quarter to nine and I've run a bath so I can get ready for bed. I think a late night bath is in order. I can put some lavender and stuff in the bath, 
have a really nice relax and read my book and then get straight into bed afterwards because I think that's kind of like the perfect relaxing evening to kind of zen me out, chill and just let the day's worries float away. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about, but I basically didn't realise the time and I really wanted a bath, so that's my excuse. I'm going to have it as like a late night bath. I've got my fruit salad as well to eat in the bath because, you know, snacks. <laughs> right guys, that's me for the evening, so I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning guys. I have a kind of accidental day at home today. So basically we were meant to go and shoot, me and Lauren, but I woke up and outside my house was just like really grey really gross and just not ideal for shooting in so we decided to call it a day and not shoot and then annoyingly the sun has just come out but it's now quarter past 10 and by the time i get to lauren pick her up get into central and stuff i've only got till one because i'm going out for dinner for my friend's birthday tonight so we figured it was just better to do it tomorrow and then we've got more time and it won't be like as much of a rush or a faff so instead i've decided i'm going to have a little bit of a depop day and pop up some of the stuff that I forgot to list before, or for whatever reason, just, I don't know. I feel like I took pictures of everything before and listed it all, but then I was going through the bag and I was like, don't think I've ever taken a picture of this. Like, don't know where this had come from. So I'm gonna go back through it all and reshoot everything. More than likely, some of it will just be shown on the wall because quite honestly, it takes hours to show it all on my body. Um, so we'll see how we go, but there is a very high chance that it's going to be shown just like on a hanger because honestly it's just so much easier and quicker because to put things on takes forever and it's just really time consuming. However, I am home all day so potentially I might just spend the next like three hours just stand the mirror and just do like a few in my living room and just do a couple of like little pics of different bits and pieces but it is quite a faff because my office is really really dark at the moment and I don't really think my office is like the best place to actually I used to do them in my bedroom didn't I so I guess I could do them there maybe I go back to doing them in the corner of my bedroom and just put my laptop on with a movie or something let's maybe do that let's use my little corner here again right plan we're going to use the bedroom to take the pictures and then anything that doesn't fit will be shown on a hanger so if you browse my depop and there's things left which i'm inevitably there will be things left then just know that if it's not shown on me it's because it couldn't be because it doesn't fit me we've been in lockdown things don't fit anymore that's why they're being sold most of the time also one of my best friends has just moved house and we discovered like so we basically went through her wardrobe as we were packing up her house because i helped her move and we discovered so many things in her wardrobe that she didn't want or didn't wear or whatever the case may be and we put it in two gigantic boxes so that she can list it on my depop so i'm going to be helping her do that in a couple of weeks time and i think we're just going to like bring it all here and just show it all like on a plain white wall really nice and easy so it fits with the same pictures you normally see from me and list that all for her because she's got some really really good stuff and i thought it might be quite cool for you guys because then you get a different range of clothes so maybe if you chop my depot before you haven't seen things that you could wear or you like or whatever and you might be able to get some bits that you maybe couldn't get before and she also has a really nice style so her style is kind of different to mine in that she likes like more colorful and like printed things and stuff so it will be a slightly different type of wardrobe but with the odd similar piece which is exciting <laughs> very exciting but i'm gonna be doing that in a couple of weeks time so i'll give you a heads up for now though i'm gonna go through these two bags of stuff that is to be listed and try and like work out what's gonna go just on ebay so like for example there's like a random beach towel which is just gonna go on ebay and then things that are going to go on depop i'm going to shoot now and things that are going to go on ebay i just shoot pictures on the wall because i find people on ebay there's like weird creeps that message you if you wear the clothes and put the picture up it's very odd so i'm not going to be doing that but let's get sorting good morning guys i'm racing around the house today because i'm actually heading to meet a friend and i am not late at all i need to leave in like 10 minutes but just trying to grab everything together because we're going to get a quick outfit snap done so i've got my little bag here with a bit of stuff in and i need to quickly chuck on the rest of what i'm wearing now 
but I've just been having like a 20 minute run around trying to like get everything together and like make sure I've got everything with me and all that kind of faff when you leave the house. So I'm ready to go. What temperature is it actually? I don't want it to be really cold and then there's me just wearing this. 12 degrees, expect drizzle. Hmm. Okay, let's put a jumper on under the jacket. That's why I bought such a big jacket because I wanted to be able to put a jumper under. Okay, let's put a jumper underneath. But I'm heading into Notting Hill, which is a really beautiful part of London. If you've ever been, you kind of will know about Notting Hill. I feel like everyone knows about Notting Hill. It's just beautiful. It's where, like, basically everyone takes pictures. And it's really nice. So we're heading there for brunch and a couple of pictures and just a coffee and a chat and, like, all that kind of stuff because I've not seen Kirsty. I'll leave her linked, actually. She's really cool. Um, I've not seen her since, God, like, October. So it'll be a good chance to just hang out and like see each other and stuff as well as getting a little bit of work done, which is always like double winner, isn't it? When you can work, but also see your mates. God, this is what I'm like every time I leave the house. This is why I don't ever vlog when I go out because I'm just such a faffer. Right, I have everything I need. Turn my light off, get my keys. Let's I've had the most lovely day ever and I just feel so good right now. Like. I had a really nice brunch with Kirsty, really nice little like quick shoot afterwards and got a couple of outfits done. Then I went to the gym, which was really nice. I never normally go on my own and do like a proper session, but I went on my own and I feel really good about it. And then came home, had a bath nice and early. I think I got in the bath at like five, read my book for a bit, played a bit of Animal Crossing. And now my switch, I was about to call it my Kindle. My switch is on charge. I'm making some dinner and that's the rest of my evening to be honest playing my Switch and having some dinner. I'm really excited about it as well because I have not played my Switch in a really long time. I picked it up kind of briefly in the November lockdown and like and like Christmas kind of time, but I just kind of went through a stage where I just wasn't really into it. And I think I just got so busy and so distracted that I just wasn't, wasn't using it. But I do that, like I flip between hobbies quite a lot. So like sometimes I'll do like cross stitch kind of vibe. Sometimes I'll do like reading a book or sometimes I'll play Animal Crossing or sometimes I will like, play random games on my phone like I just it depends so I go through stages of different things that catch my interest sometimes it's also the sims because I still play the sims at 28 years old no shade I literally love the sims so much but yeah I just I kind of go through different stages with it and I think that's quite normal to like flit in and out of like different different hobbies and it also keeps the hobbies interesting because you're not just like focused on one thing the whole time so yeah it's basically what I'm planning on doing my evening I just, you know, a bundle of positivity today, a bundle of good energy. Dinner is going to be a delicious little thing that I got from Aldi. So this is like a, it was in the middle bit, you know, when they do the random like basket bits and sometimes there's like foodie bits that are named brands or whatever. They had these in there and these taco bowls. You basically put the tortilla up in cake cases and then it gets them into like little bowls and then you just make up the ingredient bit and put it in. So same as having tacos or fajitas, but just a kind of slightly different way of putting them all together and I really like it and we had it last week but we had the I want to say like roasted peppers or something one and this one's smoky barbecue so you're meant to do it with chicken but I've done it with corn pieces and some pepper and then you've got like a big old bag of sticky barbecue here and then also like the little spice mix here which lesson learned I always tip the whole thing in and it ends up so blooming spicy that I don't think I need the whole bag I think I maybe need like a quarter of the bag but lesson learned, I'm not gonna do that today. How is your day going? Tell me about your day. As you're watching this vlog, what have you been up to? What have you done with your day? How have you spent your time? What is something good that happened today? Just give me a chat because I really love reading the comments and I know there's not a load of comments. It doesn't take me hours to go through. I'm not one of these people that can't reply to everyone. I do reply to everyone, but I just love reading comments and I love hearing about your day and like what you've been up to and stuff and like any books you've read or anything that you've just loved about the week or the day. It's always very interesting to me, so leave a comment, let me know. I'm gonna get on with cooking. God, I actually need to open a window, it's boiling in here. I need to get on with cooking because dinner ain't gonna cook itself, honey. And I also have a little something something that's been in my fridge since the weekend and I've managed to avoid, but I think it's time to like just have a couple because I'm really good at eating healthy at the moment. I've not had a single bad bit of food since Sunday and it's now Thursday. That's good going for me, especially when these have been in my fridge. So I'm really tempted to just have like a couple of more teasers or something. We'll see. Not many, 
but I just fancy a couple, so I might have that as a little post-dinner treat to myself. A couple of more teasers. I still have six goo puddings in there as well, which is definitely good going, because goo puddings do not stick around, let me tell you. I eat those constantly. They are my favourite thing. Especially the, um, like, millionaire shortbread ones, or, like the strawberry ones. Oh, for heaven. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling, and I'm going to get on my cooking dinner, and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. This just looks so good, and it smells even better. Yum. <laughs> I look naked. Hi, guys. Oh, good morning. Um... Good, 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 good morning. Good. Lauren and I have been trying to shoot a week. I had to keep rearranging plans because I kept messing up. And basically today, it's the windiest day ever. We're in the middle of a storm and we're over it. We've done one and a half outfits and we're just completely over it. It's just not, it's not working today. It's also now raining, which is fun. Literally like a million miles an hour wind <laughs> with rains, just like, <laughs> it's trying like to guess. shoot summer outfits. Like, it's it's just lovely. a summer breeze. It's not a summer breeze. It's freezing. But um, I think we're going to try and find a different spot because it's just so windy. But I don't know where, where the hell are we going to go because everywhere's windy. It's so hard in London. Everywhere's built up, so it's all just windy. But I have faith. <laughs> I kind of want to do over there because it looks really nice, but. I'm hoping this like blue thing is gonna like prevent. It's not. It's the not spot. gonna happen. It's not gonna prevent anything. <sighs> Wish us luck. Quick update because I am driving home right now. Um, that was such a fail. We did one outfit each, which was pre-filming that little clip. I did like a little bit of an outfit after that, and then we called it a day because it started absolutely chucking it down. The wind was a nightmare, and it was just a bit of a fail. So kind of happy because I saw Lauren and we get on really well so it's like nice to spend time together however fail because we were meant to do six outfits and we did one and I don't even know if we can use the pictures so it's a bit annoying but these things happen like no one can predict that that's going to happen especially when the weather upset it's not meant to rain and then it suddenly does or whatever happens so I'm heading home and I've got a really lovely dinner planned so my boyfriend and I are heading to the Ivy for dinner tonight which I've not been to in months like I think the last time we went was mid-November no it might have even been the day because I remember we went the day that the November lockdown like was due so we went on like the first and it came on the second or whatever it was um you know when there was the 10 p.m curfew which was so pointless and then I think that's the last time we went but we used to go quite a lot because we just both really like the food there so I'm very excited for that gonna have a nice big glass of wine get a bit dressed up I'll try and share with you my outfit when I decide what I'm gonna wear because currently I don't really know what I'm gonna wear I'm thinking of putting like a cute little dress and a blazer and some like my probably my dogs on or I might wear like jeans a t-shirt and some heels and a little blazer or something I don't really know <laughs> the angle of me right now sums up my current mood we went for dinner and ate so much food I'm so full I have not moved in about three hours it's been about three hours isn't it it's been quite a while yeah I'm so full and I decided it'd be a good idea to start watching Disney vlogs vlogs Disney vlogs and watching Disney food blog that's what I meant to say. And now I'm really hungry for all the Disney snacks. What are you What are you looking forward to having at Disney now? I've showed you the vlogs. Everything. No, but what specifically? What stood out the most out of the top 50? Huh. What, the little hot dog things? Yeah. Corn dog nuggets. There's a pulled pork corn chips one. Oh. Turkey leg. Yeah, oh, turkey leg, yeah. I've well versed him in the Disney snacks. I'm mm. preparing for next year. Yeah. Which, by the way, I get asked quite a lot. I don't know when we're going back to Disney. I had flights booked several times throughout covid and decided that it was better just to wait and see when everything reopens again so disney in florida if you're a fan and do not know this already disney and universal you now do not have to wear masks in the park apart from like in queue lines and on rides i believe i know like in the general outside areas you don't have to so that's really really promising a positive step in the right direction it just obviously depends on our government and stuff so as soon as america is open and we can go i am planning to go at some point, probably not middle of summer because it's way too hot, but I'm planning on going and I'm really excited. And it'll be James's first time going to Florida as well, into Disney, so whoop whoop. I haven't booked it yet, but I know rough dates that we could go. And I've got I've got about three different occasions in mind, so it genuinely just depends on when we can go, basically. But I'm very excited. Um also I think our movie for this evening, because we ended up going we went for dinner so early, we went for dinner at half four. 
it's only wow it's quarter to ten we got back at half six I I've literally been lying here since half six and it's now half nine. I thought it was like seven. Um, yes, we're going to watch Solo and then probably call it a night and go to bed. And then tomorrow we're heading over to my friend's house and we're going to attempt to put up our tent, which is obviously the one that we showed you earlier in the week. I can't believe we only bought that like six days ago. I feel like we've had it for ages. It's actually down on the floor over there waiting to be put up. So we're taking it to my friend's house because they have a garden and we're going to try and put it up for the first time make sure it's like all okay. We're gonna try and make sure the air bed fits inside so we don't have to get a new one and all that kind of thing. So that's exciting. I will love and leave you. So thank you very much for watching the vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you always know when I upload, which is Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Just to repeat, I am so full I cannot move. Like I genuinely, I don't think I've been this full in a very long time. Help <laughs> or food. <laughs>